Hello, and welcome back to uh, another episode of Dan and I another reviewing bowl, bowl games. game. By the end of this, I am not going to like bowl games. Um, I could tell you literally every bowl game, like who's playing. Is, we yeah, we are we're really it. taking an under under. It's an undertaking here. Mm -hmm. um, today, today on for the long winded, we are going to be reviewing, or I guess previewing, the Frisco Classic, the new bowl for this year, and apparently this year only. Just said it wrong. I guarantee they do this again. It's the uh, Frisco Football Classic. Oh, the Frisco Frisco. As if anybody classic. was confused on what sport we were playing here. So it's it's not the the frisco bowl which has it's a different thing happened, it's a different right? thing and it'll be played tonight we're recording it oh right right the right. day the by day the time you are watching this yes. it will have already yes um this game features the green eagles of north texas is that what the mascot is no they're the mean green i thought it was the, the mean green i thought they were the eagles i thought they were the north texas i know that their their logo is the is an eagle, but I thought yeah. they were the the big green or something like that. Maybe. All right. I'm looking. And it up. Miami of Ohio. Um, they're the Red Hawks. Yes. Yeah. They are the North Red Texas. Hawks. North Texas. They used mean to be the green. racist. Um. Okay. All right. They're the mean green. Anyways. But their logo so is definitely of these an bowl, eagle. I, yeah, it is. Makes no sense. It reminds me of Auburn. Um. Anyways. With each of these bowl, bowl games, we are ranking them based off of three different criteria. Uh, the uniforms, the matchup potential of the game, and the crowd potential of the game. Uh, each of us did our own individual rankings and uh, ranked each of those out of 10 for a total possible composite score of 30 points. Uh, and then we then used those, those final numbers to rank each of our bowls individually mm -hmm. and any ties we could then base off of what we thought was the better of the bowls so uh dan do you want to maybe get us started with your impression on this uniform matchup i ranked this uniform matchup as a two out of ten um i do not like north texas's green i think it's an ugly green and on the uniforms, it looks even uglier. So I don't like North Texas's uniforms at all. Miami of Ohio, although I have a fond place in my heart for the university, um, I do not like their football uniforms. You cut out a little bit there. Although I have a fondness for the University of Miami, I do not like their, their football team uniforms, um, which is leading me to a 2 out of 10 for this matchup. Yeah, so... When I put these two uniforms together, I thought of Christmas. Yep. Um, and while I love Christmas, it's a, it's 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 overdone. It's just the the green and oh, it's overdone. Okay. Uh, not by stadium comparison. I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need more Christmas. You hate Christmas. Um, all right. I'm not a Grinch. I love Christmas. Cody hates Christmas. I just don't need it in my football. That being said. I have this ranked as a three. That's Actually, what it is. Um, North Texas's color is the color of the Grinch. Yeah. And it's terrible. Yeah. It just clicked in my head. Sorry. Continue. So it's okay. Um, what What do you think of this actual matchup? I have it as a five out of ten. I think it's North Texas surprised us when they blew out UTSA, but I don't think either one of us really ever thought that they were really that good leading into that game before that game. I picked Miami of Ohio to win the MAC before the year started. They were close. Um, they close. They almost made the MAC championship game. It came down to the last day. They played Kent State, lost. Could have gone to the MAC championship, didn't. Um, but this is another one where it's just like two teams that are like, eh. I could not watch this game, and I feel like I wouldn't miss that much. I feel like it's just an average potential or average matchup. So, what about you? Yeah, this was kind of a for me. This was. ESPN did not need to add a bowl cape in order to make this matchup happen, in my opinion. Uh, like, 
I feel bad that a six in Frisco. Do we really need two bowl games in Frisco, Texas? Yeah, like I feel bad that a six and six team wouldn't make it, but also like I just feel like the making a bowl game at six and six is just it's just the celebrating mediocrity. Yeah, if, if you ask me at this point. Um, so I I have this ranked as a six just because like. I don't think highly of either of these teams. So I think it'll be a pretty good matchup. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah. All right. What about crowd potential? What do you got crowd potential at? I don't think. I mean, it's in Frisco, Texas. So it's not far for North Texas to travel. But North but Texas also, doesn't have a lot of fans. Yeah. And then Miami is not traveling well to this. No. I had this as a three out of ten for crowd yeah, potential. Yeah, the Miami fans are, are, are going to be rooting for Cincinnati in Dallas like in three weeks potentially you know, I mean I, I think a lot of like here in the Cincinnati area a lot of uh, Miami uh, grads end up marrying UC grads and they talk shit for the first game of the year when they play and then Miami grads just kind of quietly put away their Miami gear and put on UC stuff and because you know they want to watch entertaining football. And yeah. so that is my take on on Miami fans making the trip. They won't. Okay. All right. So we're, we're I don't think you ever said the ranking, the actual ranking four. rating. Four. four. Okay. I have four out of ten. All right. So that my total final rating for the Frisco football classic. Try saying that ten times fast. I almost said we're not gonna talk about it. Is it ten not? 10 out of 30, that's what the final ranking is. Putting it towards the bottom, if not at, that's not at the bottom, it is number 39 for me out of 42 bowls. Yeah, so I have this at a composite score of 13, and I have it at 36 out okay. of 42. Slightly higher than um, I am. Just slightly, but I'm also, I had quite a few 13 uh, composite scores. So I kind of just went through and and did what I could. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Feel me? Yeah. What's your bet for this one? I'm trying to still trying to figure out what I want my bet to be for this one. I have Miami Miami minus three. This is more That's just fair. because I like Miami. Like I said, I have that fondness for this for this team, so I'm betting sure. with the heart a little bit sure. here. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with the under or the over because both of these teams can score points. So I'm going to take North Texas plus three. All right. Uh, just uh, because yeah. I don't like Miami. Okay. All right. Well, so. the Miami slander in this, this episode. Well, I mean, I'm a Bowling Green fan. They're, they're a Mac East rival and C fan. They're a Cincinnati rival. So I'm just going to decidedly not like Miami. Also, the people who go there think that they're hot shit. It's the Ivy League of the Midwest. It's an Ivy League school in the Midwest. Yeah, that's uh, they should go to the Ivy League because that's about the quality of football that they play. Hey, man. They've won as many MAC championships as Bull. Harvard is better okay. than Miami. I think Miami would win that game. I don't know, man. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This was the Frisco Football Classic review or preview or whatever this is. This is a ranking. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. We're, we we're, uh, we appreciate you watching. Please uh, keep an keep an eye out for uh, our next episodes. And yeah, Brooke doesn't Brooke's like just, talking. Brooke doesn't yeah. like Miami either. Yeah, she's she's done. Um, uh, please follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter tiktok we we are now putting episodes out on spotify and uh, apple music so you can find us there on spotify you can actually watch the the video versions uh as well on the spotify app uh yeah bye thanks for watching